Brian, just uh, real quick, you know, day before uh, opening day, uh, how you see the team fit injury-wise? Good. Everybody's good. He had everybody out here except for young Henry Wingo. He's dealing with a little bit of something. But everybody is out here. It's a gorgeous day, gorgeous day to train. They're all in a good mood. Uh, they know it's game time. It's been over 500 days before Jordan has played in Central Field on an official game. Uh, how do you see him uh, in regards to maybe being same, jittery or anything? Same, like same as against Nacional. That's why we ran, ran him out there for 30 minutes, just to give him that taste. He told you guys, I think, if I can remember the interview, that he was super excited and he was really appreciative of the way the fans greeted him when he just you know, had that little cameo against Nacional. So now, at the beginning of the game, with full stadium, everybody, Kids, kids excited to play. Anything in particular you're looking from uh, Cincinnati? Uh, you know, a team that's obviously an expansion team. They, they, they have the advantage a little bit because they can claim underdog. Nobody expects them to come in here and win. I'm sure the coach will use whatever tricks, whatever messaging he can to get his team to play loose. And, you know, we're the ones that are the home team. We're the ones that are going to have to drive the drive, put our foot down and try and, you know, get an early goal and dictate tempo. But these games are always funny. The first game of the year in MLS, you know, it's, it's always challenging for both squads. So, you know, what we've seen of Cincinnati, it's not a bad squad and we'll have to be ready for them. And what are the challenges when you are scouting a team that hasn't played an MLS match? Well, we, we've got film of their games in Charleston and some of their other preseason matches so you don't know exactly how they're going to gel sometimes the quality of those tapes aren't as good but you you get enough to get a picture are you excited this is game one ML, new MLS season what's your feeling not only you but the coaching staff yeah coaching staff's great I mean they coaching staff did a lot of a lot of work I mean they went back and watched film of Allen coaching Cincinnati last year so the guys are fired up. They, they want to get as much information as they can to, to help our team, our players, have a good performance. And day before the match, we've talked about this during the preseason. Did you hit all your preseason objectives as, as you readied yourself for 2019? No injuries, just a little knock with Henry. And everybody else is healthy. So we've got our full squad. So that's good from a, a team selection point of view. Uh, Nicolas Odero was just uh called in to play for Uruguay in their next uh, FIFA match. Uh, what does that mean uh, of Nico and what everything he's been doing for the team? It means that he's a super talented player and we're happy. Um, you, you saw his comments yesterday at the press conference. I mean, he's happy to be here in Seattle, but as always, anytime he can represent his country, that's a big honor for him. There so was a... Is there extra pressure uh, on the club to start off um, a lot faster than they did last year? Or how do you mitigate that, given that you have a plan, given that you have a plan, but the fans may not necessarily understand that the length of the season? So, so yes, from a coaching perspective, from my own perspective, yeah, there's a little subtle pressure there. Yeah, because I want to erase that narrative. I want to make sure that that narrative goes away. So that might be a little different than in years past. The constant thread that every competitive person has, whether you're a coach or a player, is that you want to win every game. So even though there might be a narrative, okay, the Sounders are starting slow, or you know, is there more pressure? There's always pressure, because we always want to win each and every game. So how do you make sure that any pressure you feel doesn't translate that onto the players? Our job is to make them, to put them into the best spots possible, to help them be the best player they can be. And if you start with individuals, they're on their best performance. You start working in small pairs, the two center backs, you know, Nico and Raul, the two wide guys, you get them working as pairs. Then as a group, the back four, the midfielders, the forward, pretty soon you have a cohesive team. The club's going to honor Ziggy Schmidt tomorrow pre-match. His family will be here. Your thoughts on what Ziggy meant to this club? Well, I've gone on record many, many times saying that Ziggy was a, a fantastic hire to start the club off. I think he taught me a lot of things. You know, there was there was certainly a lot of stuff that I need to get up to speed as far as MLS is concerned, and it's a well-deserved honor. Kurt was a was a was a 
uh, coach for us for many years, coach and scout. He did a lot of things. He helped Garth in the salary cap stuff. Um, so he was a big part of our organization for many years as well. And certainly the rest of the family, Valerie and, and Eric and Kyle, everybody will be up there. You know, his brother still lives here. So there's still a connection, and we're happy to honor a, a guy who deserves it. Thank you.